Transgender woman Sarah Dowell met her girlfriend two years ago the 34-year-old came out to her family after almost three decades. She moved to Queensland in 2015 where she met her girlfriend Alexa Charles Sarah told Femio on Monday of the positive influence Alexa has had in her life. While caring for her dying grandfather. Sarah Dawil was in a very dark place. The transgender woman, 34, from South Australia had finally come out after almost three decades, but claims her family struggled to accept her. But despite her ongoing battle for acceptance in society, Sarah told Femio on Monday that she has found an incredibly positive influence in her girlfriend, Alexa Charles. The pair met online almost two years ago and continue to date to this day after an awkward first encounter on Queensland's Sunshine Coast. It was the most awful date in existence, I thought I would never see her again, Sarah said. The pair didn't meet again for another year before Sarah mustered up the courage to ask Alexa for a second date. I remembered she mentioned she liked Pokemon Go, which had just come out, and so I asked if she wanted to go play, she said. Alexa then moved into Sarah's studio apartment where she continues to offer her unwavering support as she takes transitional hormones. Sarah, who has been diagnosed with severe depression and anxiety said the pair act as a team in helping each other through their hardest times. Lex has been an incredibly positive influence in my life, she has helped me through some of my lowest points and I've helped her too, she said. Now living on the Sunshine Coast. She grew up in rural South Australia in the 1990s where she said homophobia and transphobia were prevalent. Despite questioning her gender representation as early as five, she said she decided to hide who she was and pretend to be what people wanted her to be. She then moved to Queensland in 2015 to look after her grandfather who was diagnosed with stage 4 pancreatic cancer. I looked after him for last six months of his life. I knew I couldn't transition while he was alive because he didn't understand those kinds of things, Sarah said. Once he passed I started on my way. Sarah's darkest time came during the Australian Marriage Law Postal Survey, which she said led to herself and Alexa experiencing hate both online and in public. Nonetheless, Sarah welcomed the result of the survey, saying she has plans to eventually marry Alexa once she has gender-affirming surgery in Thailand. She added, we're just people who have struggled our entire lives to be taken seriously as the people we are. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.